Hey guys, Arrow Fitness, Holistic Wellness, at Arrow Wellness, Walking Wisdom, Episode 3. It's been a long weekend, just walking back from a um, course I've been doing, it's Sunday, it's a little couple mile walk. Good time to do a Walking Wisdom, how you all doing anyway? Blue sky which freezing, might not be a long Walking Wisdom because uh, my hand's turning blue, just holding it up. Yeah, good response from the last two videos I put up. Um, it gets people talking, you know, I just, I just need to stimulate your mind, get you thinking, rationally, you know. Don't know everything, know a bit of stuff. Yeah, today I wanted to talk about belief and misplaced passion or uneducated passion, you know. I'll talk about belief first. People have got, everyone's got beliefs. Some people have got really strong beliefs, strong convictions. Others got sit on the fence, not strong beliefs at all. Um, but I mean, most people don't know what the um, what the term belief means. And belief means something you can't prove. It's just something you think you know, think you've got a grasp of. You can't prove it. No one can prove it. Um, I hope you can hear me alright everybody. And that's why it's called that's why it's called belief. You know? But a lot of people think belief is actually a fact. If they believe it, you know they believe it strongly enough, then it must be true, you know? Because they believe it strongly enough and lots of other people believe it strongly enough. Millions of people might believe the same thing really strongly. So it must be true, you know? And that's a, that's where you get the problem with belief. Now, no one's belief is, is more important than anyone else's belief. You can believe whatever you want to believe. And that's the beauty of belief. You know, it's not um, it's not a fact. I believe it to be true. If I knew it to be true, that means I can back it up with academic research and facts. Then I believe. Then, then I know it's true. If I believe it to be true, it's something that I can't really back up with facts. But I've done a bit of research. You know, I've looked into myself, and it's something that. I believe to be true. Now that's when you get a problem with people who, believe, who have beliefs and they think these beliefs are true, like I just spoke about. And that's when you get misplaced or uneducated passion. And that's what I see wrong with a lot of things going on in the, in the world nowadays. But I'm not really going to go down that avenue. But you, the, really, you get a lot of people who would get angry and argue and think their opinion that matters more than anyone else's because they believe it so strongly. And that's when you get misplaced passion. That passion there that you're that you're misplacing could be put into actually, if you believe it so strongly, could be put into creating a really profound or well-versed argument to then put to other people, so they can believe the same thing as you. Because obviously the belief is so strong for you anyway that other people should be believing it as well. So they have misplaced passion, they get really angry really cross with everyone else just because they don't believe the same thing as you and that's a belief you need to accept other people's beliefs beliefs that's important it's really important in life to accept other people's beliefs you know and that's when you get uneducated passion as well as misplaced passion I hope you can hear me alright it's really windy guys uneducated passion is when people aren't really well researched or very educated about something they're very passionate about and you get this a lot in people, and it, it normally comes from groupthink, or from what they've heard, or everyone knows it, so it must be true, you know? Everyone knows it, you know? Everyone, if, I mean, I, I work in the fitness industry, you know? Ten years ago, eating fat, oh man, that was so bad. Hello, Tracy. That was so bad to be eating fat, you know? Everyone knew it. Everyone knew eating fat was bad. Everyone knew that eating more than three eggs a week, oh, that was bad. But suddenly... No, it's not. I mean, even go back 50 years, and we go back to weird laws on people being gay. I mean, go back then, everyone knew it was wrong to do that. It was wrong, but well, obviously it's not. And that's how quick and how fickle people group think and the mass public change their opinion. So, if you've really got a strong conviction, something you're really passionate about, you need to get well-researched, well-educated, on the matter in hand. Otherwise, you've got no right to be passionate about something that you don't know anything about. You know? Also, what I really want to say about, say today, my hand's getting really cold, so 
yeah, I'm not going to talk for much longer, is your belief is not more important than someone else's belief. It doesn't matter how many people in the world believe what you believe. That doesn't make it more important. Belief means you can't prove it. So don't get caught in this misplaced passion uh, about your belief. Okay. <laughs> I went off a little bit of a rant then, didn't I? It's all good, though. Arrow Wellness. Arrow Fitness and Holistic Wellness. Robert Baton. Episode 3. Walking Wisdom. Hope you're all okay. Happy Sunday. Back to work tomorrow. Boom.